Samsung Good Lock. It is full of amazing modules that can help customize your phone further than what One UI allows for. So we're gonna be breaking down a lot of them. Today, we're going to look at Quick Start. Welcome back to Sam Mobile TV. You're here with Daniel. Let's take a look at Quickstar that lives inside Goodlock. We've already done Navstar, so you can go and check that out and home up to an extent, the new version of it. But Quickstar is our focus today. So let's go through, you can see a list of options in here that we can look at. First, it's important to pay credit to the people that develop Goodlock and the Quickstar module. You've got the three developers that are working on it here. Very much thank you to them. So starting off with the top one, style your own quick panel. Now the quick panel, as we know, is this. Now with One UI 7, it's drastically different than it was before. And in here, it still kind of gives you the One UI 6 feel, but that's fine. I'll show you sort of some of the stuff that it does. So at the bottom here, you've got some recommended themes. So if I click on that theme there, that's now styled in that blue and sort of yellow palette with the purple indicators. If I swipe across, that doesn't really get it. It's more the quick panel that's going to get it but you can create your own. So if I go here, you can see how there's so much things that you can customize. You've got night mode and light mode that you can sort of switch between at the top. You can see what it looks like without the sort of edit icons in the way and then add them back in. And then you've got colors. So there's different color schemes that you can add in to sort of customize it to your liking. You've got the option to control the blur level as well. So if you want to see the background or not see the background, and then you can also space out sort of the, the colors between the spaces, between the toggles, which I think is really nice. And you could sort of control that whole sort of area. I think this is such a fun little thing that you can do. As you can see, the toggles are there. And then I've got this one. I can make that this blue. Like there's just so much that you can do. And I really like the, the options that Samsung give you when you sort of click and play around with it. You can see again what that's going to look like. You can then download and enter a name. So style, let's call that one style. And then you've got that there, activate it. And there you go. You've got yourself your own customized colored quick panel. Jumping back out of there, we can sort of go down the menu items. You've got visibility of indicator icons. This is where all this stuff that you can see at the top here, you can customize. So if I want to turn off the mobile data signal, that's gone. If I want to turn off the voice over LTE icons, my alarm icon, if there was one, the volume icon. So there it's now longer show, no longer showing that it's on vibrate. If I want to turn off the Wi-Fi icon, can do that. The battery icon, you're a lunatic if you do that, but you can do it. And as you can see, there's just a whole host of things that you can change, which I think is incredibly fun and unique to how you want to control the look of your phone. You can also change whether you want network information showed or not. So if I don't want the, my network showed on the expanded quick panel, I can sort of turn, there you go, there's, there's Optus, turn that off, it's gone. Neat. And there's the clock settings. So as you can see, the clock is currently on the left-hand side, but I can change that. I can hide it, again, lunacy, or put it on the right and sort of have it all bunched up on the one side. I kind of like the separation. I think it's kind of gives a bit of balance to the phone. I could also show the date next to it if I want to. And if I click on it, there's a little date format that allows you to show sort of the style that you'd like it to be, or just the day could be handy. You could show AM or PM. So that's another thing, or you can show the seconds, which I think is probably a little bit, a uh, little bit crazy. There's a toggle for it, should you want it. Then there's a toggle here to apply the color palette from the style of quick panel you've created to more notification icons. So the ones that sit sort of at the top, that can sort of be a thing that happens. You can change the quick setting grid. So if you want this here to be wider or narrower, you can sort of make it like that. There you go. Now there's only three, or I can have it super narrow. Yeah. And I can fit more in there. I don't mind that. That means it gives me more options when I sort of select there. Might leave it maybe one or there we go. I think that's nice and clean. And then how you can separate the quick panel, the notification shade panel. So 
at the moment it's split to 51 49 so 49 percent this side 51 percent this side but i can make it a little bit more over here so it's just going to be the corner if i want it to just be the corner or if i use the quick panel more and want to swipe to the notifications i can change that ratio i like it somewhere in there because i think i'll use the notifications a little bit more than i would the quick panel to sort of check things and that is quick start it's not like the most in-depth like i guess it's focused right it's focused to just the quick panel that's what's so good about good lock is you've got the options to focus on specific areas of the phone to change how it looks and feels and you give yourself a fresh phone look every single time you use it love it we're going to dive deep in some of the other ones as well so make sure you hit subscribe to Sam mobile tv and i'll see you guys next time thanks Thank you.